Welcome back everyone. I'm just doing a uh, the CBR cam swap over and right before I actually, I've sort of just unbolted all this at the moment, I measured the, the actual uh, valve adjustment. So we've got 0.27 on the exhaust which is in factory spec. We have 0.16 on the right hand side of the intake we've got point just under point one three on the left so theoretically this is under factory specs this is a six kilometer um old bike it's, it's a brand new bike so very surprising that that's actually lost the actual uh adjustment or if it wasn't done right at the factory who knows but it just goes to show it's worth checking all this out because Maybe some others are out of spec as well. So let's keep pulling apart. We've already undone our cam bridge, both sides. To this point, it's fairly simple, just timed up on the timing marks on the side of the engine. So we'll pull the exhaust camshaft out. We've taken the, the tensioner out already. We'll just take the one out for now. Let that rest there. So that's the exhaust camshaft out of a standard CRF 300L. Okay, we're physically just checking the actual camshafts here. And uh, the lift is identical. Okay, this is an interesting find, guys. It turns out that the only difference in the CBR camshafts is in the actual intake camshaft. So all you need to do is to buy the intake camshaft from the CBR. You can leave the standard um, CRF camshaft in on the exhaust side because that's identical. But uh, look at this. The... The actual lift on the intake of the CRF is maxes out at 30.78. And this is the CBR cam. So it maxes out at 31.07, I think I saw. So that's where your more flow comes in. It's because the actual lobe is higher this way, it means that your duration is going to be a lot more as well. So there you go, guys. You can actually you can physically see that in real life too. You can see the the actual intake of the CBR cam is physically bigger. You can actually that's wow. That's you can you can see that. So there you go guys, if you buy just the intake camshaft instead of actually buying the intake and exhaust from the CBR, you will get the same outcome. So that's this number here, so that's what you need to order, where is it there? So CBR intake camshaft with that number, don't worry about the exhaust because that's identical and uh, Shit, I think this cost me like $33. Dude, guys, like, come on, this is so cheap. The duration's bigger, everything's bigger. So with the intake mod that we've done now, with all the tuning we're gonna do, this is where we get our power from. So there you go. You don't need to buy both camshafts, just the one intake camshaft and you're good to go. All right, guys, because one of my shims is out of spec, or my, one of my shims, yeah. I have to do it. So it's the left hand intake was a little bit smaller than mine. So we'll grab that out. The others are all good. We'll measure it up and see what we find. 2.38 millimeters. We'll just verify that roughly with the verniers. 2.38, there you go. 
So that's a 2.38 shim. So we got to go down to a 235 to get more clearance. So we'll see if we've got a 2.35 and the shim size should be a, a 4.8. Four six, so it's a 7.48. So this is the shim kit we're using, hot cams, and we need a 2.35 before we put the cams in, and then we'll check the adjustment. There we are, where is it? 235. So, We've now gone smaller, so that means we've got more clearance. Quite surprising that um, that shim, that adjustment was out on a brand new bike. I always put the numbers down towards the actual valve. That way, if you have to take it out, you can quickly read it. So there we are. Got that one back in there and that one in there. Now we'll put the camshaft back in. Now I've marked these this I marked this cam chain so I could just drop the chain straight back in. So what we'll do now is we'll find the spot there, there and there. Just pop the cam, pop the exhaust one out, give it a bit of room. One. Yeah, make another one. Just a bit fiddly, but it's easy, fairly easy to line up. Like so. Get this one right. And they drop in like so. Cam bridges go on. There's the, just don't forget you have the little dowels inside there. Make sure they don't fall out on you. So they're there. This one goes back on here. And then we'll bottle it all up. The torque specs. Uh, let's have a look there. They're 12 newton meters for the for the eight volts on the top here, and then we'll recheck the valve. So we'll come back when we're at that point. Right, we've got our cam bridges on, all torqued down, so we're doing our final check. I've changed the intake shim here. So I'll try and put a 0.179 in. It just won't go that one. So we'll try one, a 0.152 millimeter. It's nice there. And that's firm there. So that's around about the 0.16, so they're perfect. We'll go to the exhaust side, which is uh, 0.7, a 0.27. So we'll try them. These are firm, I, I just check these. All right. That one's good. And this one is tight. But this is a 0.279, so it's almost a 0.28, so they're spot on as well. So that's all the valves done, torqued up, ready to go. I'll just put my tensioner back in, turn it over a few times by hand, and then uh, she's ready to put back together.
And there we have it. It's on. Problems with filming, you drop shit. <laughs> Pretty funny, but. All right, we'll just bolt that on now. And then, uh, all the cams are done.